Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Except for today, because of reasons to do with reaching an unfathomable 12,000 subscribers. So as is standard, we are going to be celebrating by featuring more of your best channel comments. Enjoy! Alright, to start us off, I need to get this ominous threat from Gato Azul out of the way. Well, hello, Mr. Grand Line Review. I just wanted to say that if I don't make it into your next best channel comments video, I will send my good friend Sir Crocodile to insert his hook into your ass, which I think you don't want to experience. Thanks for spending some time reading this comment. And Gato Azul isn't wrong. I don't want to experience that. So here you are. Next up, we have Leonard Scotch with a more straightforward request. I want the D. And that I'm not so sure I can help you with personally, but if anybody out there can, then feel free to contact Leonard. Now Jordan Pugh would like to tell us all what kind of devil fruit he has consumed. I ate the fruit, fruit, fruit. It turned me into a cute, nude, mute. And I wish I could say that I got that right the first time, but the truth is, I uh, didn't. I ate the fruit, fruit, fruit. It turned me into a cute, nude, moot. Moot? Moot? I ate the fruit, fruit, fruit. It's turned me into a cute nude moot. Fuck. But moving on, Steve Gojira rather eloquently summed up my recent One Piece 101 on Gladius. Gladius ended up Sadius. However, L. Harkin felt the need to highlight a technicality regarding the former Don Quixote officer. Does the fact that his penis explode make him a sex bomb? And you know what? Yes, yes it does. So always beware about slipping under the sheets with Gladius. Now let us indulge in a compliment from It's Mr. Bubba. You have a voice of a goddess. Thank you, Mr. Bubba. As always, your existence simply perplexes me. But he wasn't the only individual to share some kind words this time around, as a nameless outsider felt the need to declare, I like your sense of humor, Mang. And cheers, Mang. And now we have what may or may not be a question from a man with the most French sounding name I have ever heard, Jacques Lapierre. Does it you say what about the bounty? But let's not blame Jacques for his mildly imperfect English. It's a difficult and highly flawed language, which is made even more clear by Ruhan Madani. Most of us One Piece fans doesn't have a really good ears to hear English, or a good mouth to speak it, or even good fingers to type it, it seems. However, as poorly constructed as these sentences are, it's nothing compared to the butchering of language itself conducted by Nathan Ferry. Concur with the birds of any, HXCT Rex Drovers any. But now it's time for the Grand Line Review Alphabet Challenge! This week our contestant is James Reed, and your question is... In the English alphabet, which letters immediately follow the letter E and the letter T? Well James, would you happen to know the answer? F U, and that is absolutely correct, James. Although you've somehow managed to misspell the, the letter U. Huh. But who cares about that because it's business time once again. Last week you were all posed a very important question to ponder, and that was, how bug is Captain Buggy's buggy balls? And today, I present to you our answers. First of all, we have Simpleton S. Man presenting a very simple conclusion. Vary bug, bugger than mine. Simpleton S. Man also slipping on a Kiwi accent there. Thankfully, 12 Metatron is a bit more specific regarding the actual sizing. Buggy Summers, buggy balls are the size of two Tontada bug zoans. So that's pretty big, I would say. However, Zan Sir has other thoughts. Buggy's buggy balls is so bug that event he buggiest of buggy balls are bugged at the bugging bug of buggy balls's buggy balls. And as usual, we had some people who couldn't answer the question, but had some valuable input regardless, like moustached Saiyan Prince. While I don't know how buggy buggy balls are, I do know that they literally explode upon climaxing, which is why my bedroom now only has three walls. I'm telling you that is the last time I doink a clown, pirate, or otherwise. Moustached Saiyan Prince sharing a uh, unique perspective there. On the flip side, that guy Daniel denies the validity of the question entirely. How do you know Buggy's bug balls are even there? For all you know, Buggy's bug balls are inside your girl. I guess that's a fair point. In fact, that would explain why my wife seems to visit the circus every night. Hmm. Finally, this entire line of inquiry will be summed up by Z Thelus. IDK de Facqua, this question bugs me. And I see what you did there. This question bugs me. But with that, we are going to say that we have adequately answered that question and move on to our next curious case. This time, our line of inquiry comes from a member of the Grand Line Review Discord server by the name of Herr Umne. If Frankie presses his nose, does his pubic hair get cut too? Herr Umne essentially wanting to know if Frankie can control his pubic hair in the same way that he can control his head hair. So I look forward to your answers regarding that. 
I think. But that pretty much does it for this edition of the best channel comments. If you enjoyed this video then feel free to like, favorite or subscribe. And should you be so inclined then also feel free to check out my discord server or that twitter thing, the links to which are in the handy description below. This has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time.